of Art and Soul, join me as I hang out with Nikwe, music producer and artist. This is Art and Soul, let's go! Hi everyone, my name is Imano Nikwe Ai, popularly known as Nikwe. I'm a musician, um, CEO of the Musical Lunatics, music producer, artist manager, composer, arranger, and the list goes on. Um, my journey started um, basically mostly from secondary school, Achimoto School. Um, I studied music and then headed on to the University of Ghana. Did a diploma in music for two years, taught there for a year, came back, did a, dip, um, a degree in uh, music and theater arts. And that's how I started everything. Music production started for me in 2014. There, yeah, basically like fully 2014. And I've been on this journey till now. And I have projects out, I've worked on other projects, and I have my own EP now called The Atomic Muse. Well, it started off with guitar, um, which is my main instrument. I've played so many guitar signatures on a lot of commercial songs, um, from Sarkodies, um, Overdose with Jesse Jacks, to Darko Vibes, Tomorrow, to a lot of Koji Q songs, to... <sighs> the list goes on and on. Yeah, but definitely, yes. So it started with guitar, um, even... Um, Double Trouble, Vision DJ, yes, all those songs, like December with Samini, all those songs, basically. So people knew me for guitar um, from the onset. So that's what people know me for. But people didn't really know me for music production until I started producing for a couple of artists and also for Sina So, who I actually work with a lot. And I also play acoustic you know, shows with her too and my band Musical Lunatic, so yes. Um, so music production has been one of the new things people actually know me for, um, but mis mostly, mostly it's just guitar. Yeah, but it's been great. <sighs> My tour in 2017 with other Ghanaian artists and other artists from Spain and Germany, um, that was amazing. One of my best moments because we we toured in Berlin, we did a workshop, we performed with other artists from other countries. We went to Spain, did the same thing, you know. So it was, it was, that was like one of the memories that I can actually remember when you just mentioned fondest memories, you know. And that was in 2017. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. I think I have three in mind. Pineapples. Very strong and sweet. Bananas. Yes. And the last thing will be watermelon. You see, banana has a certain mild but very powerful scent. You know, like when you eat bananas, it can actually get hold of the room, especially when you add ground nuts to it. You know, yeah, it gives you some nice aroma. You no, know? I think, no, I think I should do it bananas and ground nuts. Yes. So, wait, Ghana will smell like banana. Ghanaian music can smell like bananas and groundnuts. Yeah, Charlie, that is perfect combinations. Are you hungry? 
some a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I think Ghanaians are becoming a little bit more enlightened uh, when it comes to listening to alternative stuff, you know? Even though the Western world calls our music world music, which I don't like, but um, it's... <laughs> yeah, I think it's... It's been it's been good now, you know. Like we are being recognized the more. Africa is in the limelight now, actually, you know. So, I think yeah, it's, it's perfect now. Like it's it's okay. Let me make this a point. Yeah, let me just let me just mention this. We have beat makers and we have producers. Now, difference. Beat makers are people who actually sit down to create beats, right? They I invest in coaching an, an artist or a vocalist because we have vocal production. Um, they, are not, they can't arrange stuff. They only make the music for you. And then you come and you write to it. You know, those people are beat makers. They can't coach you to sing it this way, sing it that way. But producers actually do that. So a producer can't even be a beat maker, but actually he can guide you to make the sound perfect. All right? So coming back to your question, I'll say that one, I think you should learn a musical instrument, you know, it broadens your spectrum of music, you know, your rudiments of music, it broadens it because you understand what you're doing, you know, and even if a singer is singing off, you can even tell and tell the singer that now nah, he's singing it off. So, you know, let's correct it, you know, even for arrangement, because you play the instrument, like everything is at your back and core, you can actually do it then, then. So I'll say first thing, learn a musical instrument. You shouldn't be an aspect or a virtuoso in it, but just learn a musical instrument, understand how it works, right? And also listen wide, listen wide. Don't just listen to one genre, because there are amazing artists out there. Listen wide, so then you fuse those things into your production, you know, and that is what I'll say any, uh, to any upcoming producer. And please work, put in work, put in work, work hard, Work smart. <laughs> I do, I do. Yeah, I have to give myself the funds. What are you doing? <sighs> all right, I'm here with the man that just put it all together. Nikwe is in the house. Nikwe is in the Melly house. Melly is in the studio. Melly is in the studio. Yeah. Listen, mm. listen. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> this one, I'll fall off my chair. Please, please, one Sanitize. more thing. Sanitize, yes. Very important. We hope that during this time, um, everybody at home is still sanitizing. Thank mm -hmm. you. It's very, very important. And I know you keep your studio very clean. Yes. All your equipment is always clean. I have to. Okay, they said we should do it. We don't want coronavirus. At all. So you guys make sure you're still sanitizing with alcohol-based sanitizer. Mm -hmm. So, you know, from the outside... Yeah. We can hear all the beats, we can hear the, the boom, 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 and, and all the hey. different accoutrements. Mm. But now you're going to break it down and teach me something. Cool. Okay, yeah. wonderful. Um, so, Musical Lunatics, though, mm -hmm. that's your band. Yes. How did Musical Lunatics appear? How did you guys emerge, wow. assemble? Okay, so we just started with a group of friends of mine that we've been like, crazy for music for a long time and then we're like oh man we can actually put things together you know musically so 2014 you know we just started off with this and then this is where we are now you know uh, it's a band of eight you know keyboardist bassist drama guitarist huntsman you hmm? know huntsman ah, okay. yes trumpet I trombone Men. No, like we're not hunting anyone. Oh, okay, good. Uh -huh. Hornsman, yes. Hornsman, yes, yes. And then singers. Nice. Yeah. And you are the lead. And you play how many instruments just in general in life? Uh, <laughs> okay. T too many or two? Some. Some. But you, you, like you said before, you, are, you were mostly known for guitar. guitar. Yes. Acoustic to be specific? Both. Okay, both. Wait, both as in electric guitar, uh -huh. 
acoustic guitar, okay. you know, and then um, a little a little bit of separawa, you know, all, most string instruments. Okay, nice. Do you know what? I want to get, because I'm sanitized, I want to say because I'm sanitized, <laughs> we're sanitized, I can. We are prepared. Mm. <laughs> you want to string or you want to keyboard? I want to keyboard. With this, your, your fashionable news. Oh, don't worry about it. I want to banana. You want to banana? Okay, banana. don't worry. We'll do banana for you. <laughs> so, can we go? Yeah. All right. All right, Nee, so let's get into it. Yes. So, we're doing Afro beats, right? Exactly. Okay, nice. Break it down. Okay, so um, the, the elements in there, I'm picking a bit of the Indian vibe on the Afrobeats mm -hmm. kind of percussion you know, style. You know, so I, I sung and then I sampled my own voice. So I'm gonna play the raw thing uh, so you have an idea of what I did. So I have, this is my voice. You get it? Mm -hmm. That's you? Yes. And then I added a bit of effects to it to give it that vibe thing, you know. Mm -hmm. So I put like a step effect on it, okay. so it, it gets jitters my voice. Is it, called a, is it called a step effect? Yeah, a step effects. Step effect or oh, sound effects? Yeah, so okay. like a step, like uh -huh. yeah, stuff like that. So you hear this? Got it. You know? Mm -hmm. And then I pitched my voice twelve. Tones above, no? tones. yeah, tones. Above. Tons, oh, like pitch. Oh no, I know what pitch is. Yeah, so like twelve uh -huh. cents to oh, away. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. So, sorry, I hear, I hear, I hear the difference. You went from like here to here, right? Yeah, yeah. I know um, my stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clap for yourself. And then I just added a little compressor to it to bring it out there. Mm -hmm. you know, so. You have so that's what I started with, okay. and then I added marimbas. Marimbas. So, yeah. So this is a marimba. What's that mean exactly? So it's an instrument, okay. um, keyboard or percussive instrument. Oh. So it's it's a melodic percussive instrument. There we go. Wow, right? I, I've not heard that. Have I not heard that term before? We've, but you've actually heard the sound before. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So this this is the sound actually. Yes. Right. And then I added the the sample of my voice. So they marry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then I added uh, like a synth piano, but it's like a nylon synth piano. Nylon synth piano. Yeah. That's a lot of terms. Mm. So this one. You hear? Uh -huh. Like that. <laughs> right? So, and then I added shakers. So shake is here. You have the shake is here. This is not called maracas. No, this. Well, there are so many types of shakers. So these would be like the little egg-shaped yeah. ones. Those ones with the the grains in. Okay. Okay. You get it. And then I added. This is this is the papa of everything. Ooh. Like when you hear, you know it's African mm -hmm. or, or, or or Cuban, mm -hmm. right? So it gives it a like sound. You get it when Pop. you hear it. You know it. So this particular sound, right? Mm -hmm. This particular one. It's called the claves. The claves. Mm -hmm. And you hear it a lot in Palogo. I played them before, like in traditional folk music. Exactly. And it also has its origins from Cuba. Uh -huh. and, we, and we linked. Yes, the whole Afro exactly. Here. So you have that and you have the shakers in there. And then I have the marimbas. And I have the nylon synth piano. And I have the vocal sample. 
Yes, and then I added the kicks, you know, the bass drum. Oh, so far. And then it's I, nice, added, it's nice. <laughs> I added um, a little percussion, like a very bass drum percussion, mm -hmm. traditional bass drum percussion, which you hear. I mean, it's like cooking. This is yeah, we are cooking. All cooking. the ingredients. Yeah, what kind of food do you think this is? Falava sauce. Hey, sister. With the yam. Oh, wow. Yaman. So that's the. <laughs> oh. So that's what I added. You know, just add a, some maggi yeah. inside. Yeah, like that. So, you get the idea now. And I, then I add the rest to it. Okay. Just yeah. like that. Wow. So, if you're a dancer and you hear that, mm, you know, Aji, 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 mm, ah, mm, Aji, And I added a clap, mm -hmm. and I put a little reverb on it. Okay. You know, reverb is like 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 um <laughs> yeah, it's 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 like you're in a big room. Mm -hmm. You know, there's so much reverberation mm -hmm. in there, so phew, like it's oh, I thought it was more splashes. like splashes. Okay, okay, okay. Right, like when you're in an empty room, how your mm -hmm. voice sounds. Mm -hmm. You know, or is it like if you put paint on a paint drum, a uh, uh, paint on a drum, and you bang the drum, and the thing. Will no. So like <laughs> it's it's more of like a room sound. Okay, okay, okay. No, a bit exaggerated. Okay. So here the clap, you know the clap already, like mm -hmm. right? But now we've put a reverb on it, so it's now pash. Oh so pash. Yeah. So it wants to hear the pash. Exactly. So you hear from the beginning. Got it. Pash. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Almost got it. And then I add the, the vocal sample. Okay. <laughs> And I added some shouts. Yeah. Ah. You hear the clap now? Ah, I heard the clap. Yes. And then I added a bass, like a synth bass to it. So you hear it, like it holds the song now. Oh! Palava sauce. Yeah. I have to call this palava sauce. Hey. <laughs> Atensu palava sauce. Yeah. And then I added guitars. Okay. Oh, yeah. It sounds so spa. Okay. So the Latin feel, uh -huh. the Indian feel, mm -hmm. and the African feel the fused together. Because the guitar is going to make it sound real Latin, real Spanish. -y. Exactly. So I give it a. So if I drop. if I add the claves, you hear it. Yes. Then I add the kicks. Ooh. You get it. So I'm gonna go back. Then I add the rest. Give it to them. Afrobeats beat or yeah. Afrobeats? Yeah, that's an Afrobeat. Beat. That was nice. I would say, other than all of it sounding great, I would definitely. I'm just loving the guitar. I'm just loving. It's just like it's like the. Gives you that flamenco, Spanish, yeah. Cuban, Latino yeah. vibe and in I, there. And if I can relate it to food, it would be like the texture of the food. E. E -ish. Yeah. E -ish. <laughs> wow. So typically, how long would it take you to, let's just start, let's say, um, for the production side, just like the beat. Mm. How long will it, how long will it take you? Well, with this one, I, I didn't spend much time. This was like 10 minutes. What? Yeah, because I already knew what I wanted to do. Okay. So, like, 
hmm, elements. Okay, put this here, put this here. You know, the way when you're good at cooking, you just go like. Pop, 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 it's true. And you're like. Yeah, it becomes like second nature to you. Exactly. Wow. So that was it. And if I want to like mix it, mm -hmm. then I'll have to sit down and then get all the levels right before, you know, any vocals or anything comes on. Okay. Yeah. But so so That's it. quickly tell us just after this stage what now comes into it to finalize the production well i can release it just as an instrumental mm -hmm. or i can sell the beat okay or i have a single on it mm -hmm. you know just for my projects yeah. basically so okay yeah and then we mix the whole thing so mixing is basically getting the levels right adding some effects here and there you know and then we master it mm -hmm. which is for commercial loudness so it matches up to other songs mm. so when you play it doesn't feel like a dip you know like you play a song and then you play another song and like ah the, the loudness is is down you know so we actually master it so it can be on a standard you know decibel okay you know for 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 commercial use basically right. yeah so the so mixing is hard but, it is. But when you get used to it, you know where to place your frequencies and this and that. So most of the songs you hear outside, even here, you have so many collaborators, you know. So like, for example, um, a recent project by Kitty, you know, um, track two um, with Adina on it, one man. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that the whole you? guitar idea was me. Mm -hmm. And so I'm in there, Richie's also in there playing the drums and stuff like that. And then you have Kitty also writing, you have Adina also singing on it, you know, Kitty also singing on it. So you have so many people involved in the production, mm -hmm. you know, and even other people sitting out like, I think you sing it this way, it should, you know, mm -hmm. that's how it works mostly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you have so many people involved in the production. Mm -hmm. It's just not one person, you know, so yeah, that's how it works most of the times. But because I'm multifaceted, most mm -hmm. of the times I can... I can do it all on my own, but I also have third parties in come listen and also give me their opinions if we should change this or change that, you know, so that's how it works. Yeah. Fantastic. And then post COVID. Yes. What's in the pipeline for you? Well, I released my Atomic Muse project mm -hmm. and there's a second one coming this year. Are you not tired? Don't you want what? to rest? Which one is resting? <laughs> Does money rest? No. No. So we need to, you know, like we need to put um, stuff out there. Mm -hmm. And I'm um, amazed by the the support I've had, you know, for someone who's not really, really known. But yes. Oh, would you say mm -hmm. that? Yeah. We, we work behind, you know, okay, the so scenes. Okay, so you like commercially. So, yes. Okay, got you. you. Know, so, um, yeah, but it's been good. So we are working on Atomic Muse 2. Okay. Before the year ends, you hear it. All right. Yes. Wow. Well, and thing. then the band mm -hmm. is also working on originals. Okay. Yes. So probably next year you hear everything. Wow. Yeah. So basically you have a busy rest of the year. Exactly. Ahead. And then my artist Boyd mm -hmm. also has an EP coming off um, in August. Okay. This year. This year. Wow. So we are working. You are really working. <laughs> you are cooking. We are cooking. We are cooking. The kutubri yes. and the palava sauce. Yes. With the ginger. With the ginger. ginger. Yeah. Yes. You like ginger pa. I do. I do. That's just, that's another conversation for another day. <laughs> <laughs> but Nia, I want to thank you so much. Thank you for You're breaking welcome. it down to me. And it's, I, you know, I can now see why producers spend so long in the studio. Yeah. Um, but it is, it is fun. Especially yeah. when you have the passion and the talent for it, just like yourself. Thank you. No problem. Really appreciate it. And thank you for having me. It's yeah, really no. a pleasure coming to my space it's and filming nice. this. It's oh, very quickly. So this is DIY. Yes, everything here. Mm -hmm. Do it yourself by moi. Wonderful. So yeah. you are an artist, like musically and, you know, artistically yeah. in other directions. Because yeah. so I did theater arts too. We built sets and stuff like that. So, <sighs> you know it's in the blood yeah yeah but right now this is my baby okay. music you know music is my baby 24 7. got you yeah it's okay in other words there's no room for oh there's room for yeah <laughs> but 
This way is what brings the money. <laughs> oh, okay. That's another conversation for another day. <laughs> Bunny, I want to thank you so much. Thank you. And um, I've had a wonderful time and I've learned I've learned a lot. Yes. Next okay. time you're producing a be yourself. Hey, a producer what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I barely know how to make salad. <laughs> you will do it. I want to say a huge thank you to Nikwe, the lead member of Musical Lunatics, founder actually, founder of Musical Lunatics, he's an artist and producer. And he just broke it down, how to make an Afrobeat, guys. And I had a lot of fun. So you guys, make sure you stay tuned for next week. I'll see ya. So, art and soul, art, yeah. So, art and soul.